What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Kev. Uh, taking a cruise right now and I thought I'd take this time to explain what's going on with my tuning situation. Um, today is the 6th and I'm trying to roll out all of my camshaft videos the best I can. I'm going to try and get some uploaded tonight. But the cam swap has been done for about three weeks now almost I think and I'm rolling around on a factory tune I'm driving right now and I'm telling you I don't have a tune so with that said let's talk about the build what do I have done well I have the 6.4 intake manifold bought it online at eBay I ported it out myself slapped it on to direct swap uh, I have a ported throttle body I just took my throttle body I ported it out myself running great um, I've also thrown on the 6.4 liter fuel injectors because there was a point in time during the build I thought that I might be running a little lean I might need a little more fuel because I also have the 6.4 liter camshaft and long tube headers going there so I'm flowing a lot more air in the engine so I got the uh, 6.4 fuel injectors and I just threw them in and that really helped the drivability with the vehicle because beforehand it would it, it'd be real rough and it sound terrible when I was driving around so for science purposes I was just like you know what I knew a guy who had his injectors because he upgraded his scat pack I bought off him I threw him in and the vehicle's running actually really well so other things that's done with the vehicle I've got the long tube headers like I said they are the one and three quarter inch primaries from American Racing headers, high flow cats, full three inch dual exhaust, X pipe cook bullet mufflers, and dual tips. And I have a bunch of other supported, supporting mods to go along with the build. So, the tune. Well, I set out a time frame in which I was going to work on the vehicle. I allotted myself about five days to work on the engine, get everything cleaned up. That way, on the following Monday, I'd be able to roll into the tuning shop, get thrown on a dyno, get my dyno tune, and I'll be good to go. Well, that's where things went south in this whole project. Not anything wrong with the motor or anything that I did wrong. I'm not going to name names, but my tuner kind of bailed on me. And that sucks. The guys highly talked about, uh, highly respected amongst a lot of people where I'm at, but it kind of doesn't matter if you can't keep your schedule with people. So um, I even talked to the guy, he called me on the phone. He was, he apologized for not being able to get me in that day. I tried explaining to him, Hey man, I, you know, I set this appointment out nearly two months in advance and I didn't even get a phone call as to like, Hey, we can't get to you come this day or something like that. And like I talked to him, he apologized said it wouldn't happen again but he didn't even follow up with me after that and so i tried reaching out to him for a third time and i just got blown off altogether. so that threw me in a panic because with everything i just told you that i have done to the vehicle it's like i don't want to roll around on town on a factory tune with all of this this build you know i like running too lean running too rich timing whatever's going on in the engine bay I, I want the engine to run at its peak performance well i was looking around the difficulty that i'm having here is that there's not enough shops in colorado that have all-wheel drive dynos because i'm in the jeep and know how to run the hemi platform i found a shop and they said oh yeah we run hemis we'll tune you well i was kind of looking at the reviews online they didn't have a lot of good reviews. And then I talked to some of the people in the car club I'm in and they were like, don't go there, don't do it. They're blowing up people's motors. So I was like, great, who can tune me? I tried talking to another shop and they were like, well, we'll disconnect your front drive shaft and we'll tune you. I was like, well, that's great. I called them, try to set up an appointment. And at first they were like, oh, we're free. And then talking to the guy on the phone, he comes back, he was like over oh, four or five weeks booked up. So I was like, great, I got, a shop blowing up motors and then other people just bailing on me for no reason at all. I did nothing to anybody, so that really sucked. And what ended up happening is, is uh, I ended up talking to a guy online that is in-state. Awesome guy. He has helped me tremendously with this build. He uh, supplied me with the valve spring compressor tool that he had. He sold 
told me his fuel injectors, he got the wide band set up for my oxygen sensor because I'm gonna start running an email tune. I have a HP tuner kit that will be coming in tomorrow, Friday, and I'll start email tuning back and forth and he got me in talks with his tuner. So that's how I'm gonna have to go about doing things. After the tuning is done, because I would like to get a dyno video in, I'll probably call up um, a different shop. There are other all-wheel dyno, all-wheel drive dyno shops in Colorado. They just don't do Hemi, so I'll, I'll just talk to one of them I know specifically and ask if they can just throw me on, run the vehicle, see the numbers that I make, get a nice exhaust clip, and then go from there. But that's uh, that's one reason why like the video uploads haven't been coming out as fast as I would like them to be is because I've been running around town in a panic trying to figure out what it is I'm going to do about my build because I can only go so far but if you're wondering if what you can do to your vehicle I am a testament right now as to basically a full build aside from running boost and a bottom end but aside from that I, I have intake cam exhaust I'm changing up running engine characteristics from factory with all of these mods I did but the factory tune has been able to compensate with all of these mods perfectly fine I've been driving around with 91 octane gas as well just to try to help out but I think it also helps that I'm using OEM parts or most of which sort of say like the valve springs are OEM the performance Hemi valve springs I'm using the OEM MDS camshaft and I that's one reason that I never really mentioned before is that with the 6.4 liter camshaft that I picked while utilizing MDS, the computer system never really realized that anything changed aside from the fact that I have a little bit more lift and duration with a camshaft, camshaft but it's compensating for that however it needs to, pulling timing, whatever. But the vehicle is running safe, it doesn't sound weird, it's not pulling hard. The only thing that I kind of find a little off is, is, is if I'm running it hard at wide open throttle. I think because of everything I've done, I'm pushing the limits of what the computer can compensate for, but that will all be resolved finally after weeks of trying to figure out how I'll get my vehicle tuned. I'm just gonna go with the email tune. So once that's all done, and I'm satisfied with the tune. I'll mention that guy's name if he's cool with it. Throw his information out there for you all to check out as well. But I'm comfortable running with him because the guy that has been helping me out, he has a Scat Pack Challenger that he's built up and he told me that he can, he can push over a thousand horsepower on his build. So maybe one day I can get him on a, a video interview and we can check out his car maybe go for some rides because the channel's all about Mopars it's not just about my Jeep it's team Mopar so that's my little quick update about what's going on I have a couple more things that showed up in the mail I actually got a lighting kit that I'm gonna throw on the Jeep it's uh lighting trends I know a guy that runs their products he hooked me up I'm gonna light the interior of the shaker scoop it's a flow series uh, lighting kit so I can pretty much change it to all colors of the rainbow but I want to do bright white I want them to match the headlights themselves so I'm kind of thinking like when I'm driving down the street at night you know I got the headlights that are white and I like the Grand Cherokee headlights but I think having the inside of the shaker illuminated as well would be kind of cool just a little different touch maybe ricing it out a little bit but just some things I want to do with the build because I don't want to stop here where I'm at. I want to keep things going. I want to make things interesting and bring you guys content. Um, so yeah, follow up, hit me up with questions, give me your thoughts, like, subscribe, and once again, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, and thank you for coming to Team Mopar. Yeah, there's one more thing I forgot to mention. Uh, I took the vehicle to an event in Bandemir Speedway here in Colorado. It's the Mega Mopar event. I actually ran the Jeep. So I'll talk about that for a second, but I'll get the video up and I'll explain more. Um, I ran, actually, I'm not gonna tell you the time.
times. But I did run the Jeep. I picked up a full second and I gained six mile per hour in the quarter and the Jeep did perfectly fine. So I'll shoot some, uh, I got some video of that that I'll show everybody. But things are rolling around. I can't wait to get the tune and then get this thing on the strips more and see what else I can do. So there you go.